I'm just. Oh shit! What the? F what the fuck oh, was that? ran into a trap. mine. A what? Explosive traps. Watch where you're walking. Oh great! Oh great! Just what I need. Just what I freaking need. How am I supposed to tell if there's a trap? Is it going to be super obvious? Ooh, another card. Candelabra. Mm-hmm. So if we... A coin? A swan? I don't know. Usually that's how the how uh, French spellers spell their names and stuff. I don't know. Uh, sixty brains, eighty brawn, Society of Champions. Speaking of the on the darkest night, this heroine earned her moniker when people first saw fire emitting from her hands and flowing through her hair. Originally from the volcanic Avar, oh, it is France. I can't pronounce that. Avon region of France, she fell into an active lava pool while protecting her little brother from Dr. Uckman's henchmen. Left for dead, she emerged from the pool alive and capable of wielding fire as a weapon, so long as she doesn't get cold. When not working with Society of Champions, she spends her days hunting Dr. Uckman, who, whom she believes is holding her brother captive. Alright. I uh, don't speak French at all. And I do not know how to pronoun pronounce certain... French words, because usually they're not pronounced the way they're spelled. So, I, I apologize. Ooh, more shotgun stuff. I apologize if I mispronounce anything. I just uh, don't know how to pronounce French words. Words. Okay, that's a trap. Is there a way to disarm it? I'm a f I don't know if I can crawl under it. Nope. <laughs> I tried to back up and it just didn't work. All right. And I have to do all that again. Cool. All right, went back and grabbed everything that I grabbed earlier. So now, did I just do a dolphin dive? Hmm. If I did, that's pretty cool. And it'll make things a lot easier. Because I was under the impression that if I wanted to go prone, I had to stop completely and then go prone. But if I can do it out of sprint, then that's good. Hmm. Wonder if we can uh, get them to come after me. Like, that might work. <laughs> yes! Run into the traps! You idiots! Get out of here! <laughs> Alright. Okay. That's one way to get rid of a trap. Just uh, have the enemies run through them for you. All right, cool. I'm trying to remember if in the first game there were traps as well. Where are you going? I think there were. Hold on a second. But I feel like you could disarm the traps. 
Usually in other games, you are able to disarm traps and stuff. Wow, still no scars. Four more hours on the shift. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Put that away. I wonder if I have to censor that. I... I don't know. Any Depends wolf? on... I didn't see any, how but I feel. It's hard to tell. I mean, censoring is not that difficult, it's just... Eh. I mean, they're drawings, it's not like it's real. So... Eh. I don't know, I feel like it's usually funnier when things get censored like that. We'll see. Look, it's just like Uncharted. I'm okay. Come on. Naughty Dog loves their mudslides. Is Leah chick? What if she's gone by the time we get there? I don't want to think about that right now. We should put some of those trip wires up around Jackson. Might be a good way to deal with the hordes. Yeah, that'd be smart. But we'd probably blow up some stragglers. We put up signs, warning them. Well, what if they can't read? We'll make drawings. You know, like a foot tripping over a wire and then big fire. I better eh. build them. <laughs> I don't like you. I want it in writing. I met this guy once, friend of Joel's. Tripwire to whole town. How did people get around? It was just him. Wait, he lived alone in an entire town? He had trust issues. That's sad. Kept him alive. It's not like you have to choose between being alive and being close to people. It's not black and white. You take a risk, though, right? You take a bigger risk being alone. What if he got hurt? What if he got sick? What happens if someone else gets hurt or sick? And you have this added, you know, burden that puts you in a worse position. Yeah, I guess that's also true. Yeah, uh, there's... <laughs> there's always a risk involved. I, uh... I don't know, I feel like... I feel like having company with you is definitely good for your mental health. Hey, look. Who do you think it is? Uh, someone who wants us to feel her love. You think she's related to the wolves? I don't know. It's kind of fucking weird. I thought she might have had something to say. Alright. Um, yeah, having somebody with you is definitely good for your mental health, but then it's like, what happens if something happens Shit. to the other person? Or, or what if something happens to you? That can really take a... Uh, that can be really bad for your mental health, and then... Uh, hey, look. It's Tommy's. Oh shit. In fact, it didn't have a number on this one. Are you okay? Yeah, sorry. It's just a smell. Ugh. All right. I must have taken off on foot. You good to keep going? Yeah, I'm fine. Please. Alright. Can't imagine I'd handle this, uh, well either. I mean, whenever there's... Whenever my cat gets sick, it's like... Ugh. 
makes me want to throw up too. <laughs> so I can't imagine what it would be like to be around a dead animal or a dead body or anything. Ugh. No. No. I, I, I no. How'd this city get so wrecked? Boston wasn't like this, was it? Boston didn't have a full-blown civil war. Fireflies never put up this kind of resistance. Hmm. And anyway, um, you know, I feel like it might be better if you're alone in a town because then you're just worrying about yourself. And then if, uh, if you end up getting hurt or getting sick or something, then it's like, well, this is, uh, this is it. No. And you can make peace with it. It's not counter chickens, though. But loneliness is uh, a dangerous thing. It sucks. Are we supposed to be going this way? You see the TV station? I think so. Yeah, it's that way. All right. Uphill. Whoa. More bodies. More shot bodies. Tommy definitely came. Stop. What? Wire. Oh, shit. oh, I didn't even see that. Thank you, Dina. Luckily, it wasn't. Probably oh, for infected. never mind. Still, one wrong step. Yeah, let's be careful. I bet he went through there. Alright, before we move on, let me see what I have here. We're, f we're good on that. Um... We have 58. We're actually pretty close to uh, this thing, so I'm going to craft this. We only need two more pills so that we can get that, which is going to be very helpful, I hope. Right, where's my silencer recipe? Oh! Let's go ahead and craft one, why don't we? Now, is it going to break on me? And I'm going to have to keep crafting it, or is it just permanent? No, oh, it has three shots. Okay. Cool. Mm-hmm. I'm going to keep that on for now. Right, there's a tripwire there, but there's none right here. So I'm going to go over here. There might be something. All right. I really... Did I hear something? I really thought there was a way to... Disarm traps. Okay. In the first well, game. Not going this way. I mean, there's gotta be a way. You know what? We could climb over the car... Well... God, this is scary. Can I open this door? See, this is where I start overthinking things. Um, like, if I break this window, will the vibrations cause this wire to snap? Oh, boy. Dina, do not walk through that. See something in there. Cool. I want to hit that, but um, I don't want to waste my pipe on him. I don't even know if it would, but I don't know. It's not really worth finding out now, is it? It really doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm liking the high sensitivity. It's much more comfortable for me. So usually I would think uh, lower sensitivities is like 
easier to control and everything, but most of the time I am fighting to just get on target. Failure is nothing more than a second chance, so use it. Okay. Your inspirational quote of the day. No, that clock doesn't work. Um... So yeah, low sensitivities can help with accuracy and stuff, but I feel like with high sensitivities, you have, uh, you can get on target really fast, and then you can also correct your aim a lot better, and you also don't have to move your thumb as much, so for me, I've always been more comfortable with uh, high sensitivities, I guess, which is surprising because I'm like, oh, I haven't played an FPS in a long time on console, so I'll probably stick to low sensitivity. No. Actually, better if I have uh, much higher sensitivity, especially for The Last of Us, because that's what it was like in the first game. I had I played on the max sensitivity. I think I'll just do that. We'll work on the stability stats first, so that I make sure I can hit my shots more. Um. So yeah, we'll work on the stability stuff. And then after that, we'll probably go for fire rate because reload speed isn't too important, I find, right now. Because usually I do have enough time to reload. But we'll see. You've really got this area covered. Probably don't cut through here much with all this. There's that silver lining. Just, I'm just trying to move slowly through here so I don't this accidentally trip anything. Yeah, they're getting tricky to see. No, maybe I shouldn't be walking through this. Well, if I stay over here, it might be a little bit easier to see things. I'm still just going to run into one. Alright. I don't think there's anything else around here. There might be something over here. No. anything in here another card Bizarrebra Bahar Reza 80 brains 100 brawn no affiliation young Bahar Reza once had a promising career in science but her stint as Dr. Upman's assistant ended in, in catastrophe during one of Uckman's unauthorized experiments, she was doused with an early dangerous form of his strength-giving formula, causing all of her muscles, even the ones in her face, to become impossibly swole. Ridiculously strong and a danger to everyone around her, she was shunned by society. On her own for years seeking, seeking revenge, she recently found a friend and ally in the aged and frail and frail, Naledi the Useful, youthful, pro proving that opposites attract neutral. I just cannot read today. I just see what's around here. My statue of a bear. It says do not enter, but I want to enter. And I'm also curious about uh, this thing over here that I saw. There's a tripwire there too. Can I climb over? But if I climb over, can I not go back? I can't. Alright. Let's just go in here first. Alright, what's behind the door? Surprise it's not locked. There's more doors! What is this? Modern Warfare? Ugh. 
M. Make sure you take the envelope to the bank before Monday morning. Made the combo la the last six digits to Stacy's phone number. Figured that it figured that it'd be easy for you to remember. Remember, two zero six five 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 zero one blank blank. Ah, uh, all right. Well, what do we got here? No, a missing cat. Oh no, Atlas. They're hiring, giving back. All right. Which door do we go through? Not that one. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> well, we don't have the the combo for that just yet. I don't I don't think we do. Cuz the last couple numbers were cut off. Oh. I think that gives me enough for my upgrade. Enemy clarity, or less mode clarity, yes. I, I don't want to have my uh, rifle out. What's in this door? Oh, I thought that was like a gun or something. Oh, look. There's the code. Broken mirror. P here. Hail yourself? Hail me. I'm watching you. Oh, God. Call Stacy. 206-555-0133. I don't know. Let's see. Last six digits. So 0133 it would be 55. Oops, too far. 55. O one three three. Oh shit! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Look at that. My memory is not complete shit. Well, at least I got a couple shotgun shells. Because everything else I'm pretty much maxed out. Okay. Well, that was kind of worth it. Would have been more worth it if I had needed some of that stuff, but you know what? I'll take the shotgun shells. It's always good to have shotgun stuff.